You know them. Mmm, creamy, feel it. You love them. I dare you to try and live without them. In honor of Zombieland Double Tap, Earth Movie's death is giving it up for the goddamn Twinkie. What is a Twinkie? Sugar and rich flour, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, polysorbate 60, and yellow dye number five. Just everything a growing boy needs. It certainly does not come from nature. As much as I'd love to find one, I don't think there are Twinkie trees out there. Instead, the Twinkie is some kind of non-biodegradable cake stuffed full of sweet, sweet cream. That doesn't sound like much, but there's magic there. Bring me back the Twinkies! Maybe it's because of the way their yellow color stands out. Maybe it's because Twinkie is just such a fun word to say. Twinkie, 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 Twinkie. <laughs> or maybe it's because they are stubbornly unfazed by the wild ravages of time. Whatever the reason, movie characters are particularly fond of this famous dessert snack. I could use a Twinkie. Obviously, Zombieland is a good place to start since that's why we're all here. As I'm sure you remember from 10 years ago, Woody Harrelson's character Tallahassee famously craves Twinkies. Where's the fucking Twinkies? And searches the entire zombie apocalypse for them even putting himself in danger just for a chance at its creamy goodness. You're gonna risk our lives for a Twinkie? There's a box of Twinkies in that grocery store. Not just any box of Twinkies, the last box of Twinkies that anyone will enjoy in the whole universe. Believe it or not, Twinkies have an expiration date. Spoiler alert, Daddy gets his fix. But obsession with Twinkies is nothing new. Have you ever heard of this movie called Die Hard? Not only is it one of the best action movies ever made, but there's this guy in it named Al Powell, and in addition to broing down with John McClane, my guy buys his Twinkies by the armload. Liking Twinkies is basically his main character trait. Well, except for one other thing. I shot a kid. So much so that when we check in on him again in Die Hard 2, he has a whopping four of these bad boys waiting on his desk. Like, that's why he gets off the phone with John McClane so fast. Daddy needs his fix. <laughs> Twinkies are used for all kinds of things in movies. They lure Genghis Khan and Bill and Ted's excellent adventures. Want a Twinkie, Genghis Khan? They provide a model for scale in Ghostbusters. Represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. What about the Twinkie? That's a big Twinkie. They offer the basis for high cuisine in UHF. Twinkie wiener sandwich, your favorite. One even shows up as a character in Sausage Party. Movies especially love to remark upon a Twinkie's ability to laugh in the face of natural laws. They show up in Wally -E and Mortal Engines as snacks you can still enjoy no matter how far into the future you go. Best before 2118. It's an Inky. It's over a thousand years old. Doesn't matter. The food of the ancients never goes off. It's indestructible. In Ghost Rider 2, one evil bad guy can't eat because everything he touches automatically rots in his hand. A Twinkie does not have this problem. Get that fixed, Daddy. Science has done a lot for humanity, but come on. The Twinkie's the best they ever did. And if Tallahassee spends all of Zombieland Double Tap looking for another sweet fix, I for one totally understand and will not participate in any twink shaming. You sick son of a bitch! Have a Twinkie, snap ahead. <laughs>